country, but uh, here locally we are dealing with quite the opposite of yeah. an issue. Still dry conditions out there with the exception of maybe some mist or I think we can handle that when we see what's happening in other parts of the country. Right. We always kind of put it in perspective, we right, do. of what we're seeing compared to other parts of the U.S., other parts of the world. Uh, so let's take a look at what we see here across San Diego specifically. We're starting now to get a little bit of light coming through on most of our cameras. These are four different mountain cameras that we have, uh, specifically the La Jolla camera, not exactly a mountain camera per se, but does a very good job of showing the cloud cover as we look farther off to the east and then pretty socked in for San Miguel, for Mount Woodson. So this is yet another morning where this trough of low pressure sinks in, gives us a strong push of onshore energy and onshore flow is what is continuing to keep your coastline cool and channel all those clouds to the western slopes of the mountains. Yesterday, we didn't even really see those clouds pull back all that much from your coastline, so it stayed an overcast day and today could follow in a similar pattern, but we do have hope that by the afternoon we'll get at least a bit of sunshine. It's just that as this trough keeps sinking in our direction, we're going to be picking up on cooler temperatures. So we're going to cool down, but we could have a little bit more sun in the forecast, at least inland and across the mountains this afternoon. Across the mountains, we're going to also see wind pick up. So here's 6 p.m. today, purple, red, yellow, all on the screen showing where those gusts are upwards of 40 and nearly 50 miles per hour. And that's not just going to be this afternoon. That's going to be tomorrow afternoon. That's going to be Friday afternoon. So we really do see those winds picking up across the eastern half of the map versus along the coast and inland. We're sure we're in the high single digits, low double digits, but it doesn't exactly provide much of a, a change in our forecast along the coast or inland. It's clouds in the morning trying to pull back by the afternoon, but doing so unsuccessfully the closer you are to the coastline. Uh, that's where we hold on to those clouds. So this afternoon, as opposed to the last several afternoons, our inland valleys where we were easily above average for a pretty decent stretch, we will not be in that range this afternoon. We're starting that cool down where we have widespread 60s on the screen instead of 70s inland. So the coastline doesn't change a ton. 62 for Carlsbad, 64 for San Diego, maybe a degree or two cooler than where we were over the course of the weekend, but it's really inland that we see a more pronounced change, about 10 degrees cooler than where we were at this time last week even. 66 this afternoon for Escondido, 68 for Ramona, 66 for Alpine. So all of these temperatures, regardless of where you look across the county, are now below average, where that below average trend used to hold exclusively true to the coast. Uh, going toward Memorial Day, we're going to be seeing that temperatures really stay steady. There's a chance that we jump back into the low 70s inland that will still be cooler than average. Every day holds a pretty decent opportunity for that marine layer to stretch all the way to the western slopes of the mountains and then slowly pull back with the goal of getting some coastal clearing, but always unsure of how much of it will actually end up seen. Across the mountains and deserts, plenty of wind this afternoon, 90s for the deserts, 60s across the board there for your mountains, and much more sunshine across those two microclimates as opposed to along the coast and inland. Danny Marie.